into fermented food yes she makes all kinds of different krauts and kimchi and deliciousness and today she has a recipe for you a very simple and easy and quick mm -hmm. kimchi recipe could you explain maybe why we use a kelner like this to make kimchi um it, honestly it is because for ease right so we can just pack it all in there and it can all ferment together i've mm -hmm. done it before where you do individual jars of fermenting like smaller ones mm -hmm. and it's just a little bit more difficult to manage so this one is great and um, it actually came with little weights so we, we'll use them as well to to press it down so it's it's nice and handy and convenient and they all ferment at the same rate and you get some more kind of taste from it all so yeah it's amazing why do we need to weigh it down? Uh, you want to keep it submerged under the, the liquid that produce, is produced with the, with the cabbage, so it's very important to pre mm -hmm. prevent it from getting mold or any of the other nasties that you don't want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything that wants to be also very, very clean that you're using, all your surfaces, because you don't want to contaminate anything with any other kind of bacteria that you don't want in the fermentation process. Um, as well, <clears throat> We're doing a vegan kimchi, right? So because ah, yes. usually it's made with a fish sauce, so we'll have a few different alternatives just to make it um, friendly for vegans. Amazing. <laughs> That's good to know. I think some vegans might think that kimchi is just vegan. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's good to point out that we're making a vegan version and that some kimchis do use fish sauce. Yes. So just to be mindful when you're... <laughs> when you, yeah, just check, check the ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> the label at the back. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, so should we get to the recipe? Cool. Is there any information that you'd like to share about fermentation before we start? Um, it's really good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good for your good. microbiome. Your gut microbiome, yes. Yes. Makes them happy. <laughs> Good, good, good. You probably have more information about that than I do. <laughs> yes, but I could speak for a very long time and I'm not prepared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I start this video, it's going to be maybe an hour or so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can make a separate video on the benefits of fermentation. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Let's do it, actually. Yeah. Let's put it in the calendar. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So, to the recipe. Let's do it. <laughs> We've already julienned the carrots, so just thin slivers, like a like kind of matchstick type thing. Um, and we're going to chop the, the cabbage, and and then we'll get on to making the, the sauce. So I just like to peel off the, the kind of outer layer. Sometimes it's been you know, sitting on the, on the shelf and it can get things like this in there. So you just want to make sure you have nice, fresh, unique. Cabbage, and we'll half it. This is your workout for the day as well. And then quarter ish. And then you want to make sure that you remove the core, so that kind of thick bit in the middle. Sprinkle this amount with salt, so I just kind of get salt over there. How much salt? Um, a couple of teaspoons just to get it mixed in. That was like four teaspoons. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> 
What is the salt good for? So the salt is gonna just draw out the moisture of the cabbage, which is the liquid that it's gonna be fermented in. So we don't actually add any liquid at all. It's just the pure liquid from the cabbage. <laughs> so you can already sort of see the cabbage is starting to break down. On to making the sauce. So we need one onion. That's a very big knife. That's a very big knife. Two. Um, garlic? Garlic. How much? Uh, I quite like garlic, so let's go. Five small cloves. <laughs> you can put as much garlic as you like, yeah, garlic depending to, on the taste. Garlic to taste. And we'll do three teaspoons of sugar. What kind of sugar is that? This is coconut sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do, let's do one teaspoon of chili. Once you've uh, finished mashing half of it, you can do the other half and then we'll just put it all in together. While I was mashing it and mixing it with the salt, the, the size will kind of decrease by about half, so then you can mix everything in together. So now I'll put the carrots in here and our mix from the Vitamix sauce. And we get every last juicy drop. You could also add ginger to the sauce mix if you have it on hand or if you like the taste of ginger as well. So we'll just mix this all together. Mmm, smells really good. Oh, lovely. Kimchi liquid. So we're kind of debating with Dan as to whether these go up or down. I think they go down because it's like flat on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> I think Dan thinks they go up as well. That's it. Let me just wait for. Oh,
Mom. What is this hole for? Oh yes, so that's so that it can breathe. <laughs> So the gases that are produced when it's fermenting can escape at a slow rate. Um, you can also use a, a cheesecloth over the top in an elastic band around. That's what I was doing before we invested in this lovely Kilner jar. Mm -hmm. So just to show. That's the hole. Yeah. So now we just put it on the counter. Mm -hmm. So keep it in a, sort of a cool, dry place. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Your kitchen. <laughs> okay, perfect. And it can sit there. It doesn't need to be covered with a, uh, with a hand towel or anything. It can stay um, in daylight. Yeah. It doesn't need to be put in like in a cupboard or anything. So it can stay on your counter in daylight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and how long do we leave it for? Uh, you can leave it uh, for about a week, give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. You can leave the second week if you like it a bit more um, pungent, I suppose. So just, yeah taste it as you go. I, I leave it for about two weeks and I find that to be like the optimal kind of time for me. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. <laughs> and more to come. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks guys. See ya. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> has been fermenting for a week now. Yes, indeed. Anna, why did you put these little, can you explain what these little things on the top are? All right, so this is a really handy little tool that came with the actual Kilner jar. So it helps to release air at a steady rate from the jar so that the fermentation process can continue. And it also sort of blocks any kind of, you know, stuff that might fall into the, into the jar through just an open hole. But you can also use a um, cheesecloth as I've said before, mm -hmm. so, but this is handy. But. Nice, it's really pretty. Yeah. Can you just pull it out? Yeah. Just want to show it. Let's put it back in. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it really smells like kimchi. <laughs> yeah, so this is exciting. For yeah. Our first time. I mean, you can be tasting it throughout the process as well. You know, mm -hmm. some people will like it a little bit less fermented, but I say definitely leave it at least a week. So we're just over a week now, are we? We are exactly a week. Okay, just a week now. So our first taste test. How long would you usually leave it for? Um, I like a week to a week and a half. Mm -hmm. sort of, we'll just give it a little try now. And it could be perfect, or it could need a little bit more time. Um. <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, is that not the kimchi? <laughs> Too many comedy movies. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> it's like in sure. that movie called um, Spy. Don't know if you've watched it, but they they kind of eat paper towels and get something else. It's just like a similar. <laughs> if you've watched the movie Spy, you'll know what I mean. Melissa uh, Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> it's hilarious. Cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So that tastes. Pretty Ooh. perfect for me. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even think it needs any more fermentation. I really don't think so either. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It is a fizzy. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's alive. Yeah. <laughs> really powerful flavors coming through. And it's just simple ingredients. Yeah, super simple. You really get the uh, just that hint of spiciness, mm -hmm. um, that the bitterness right from the fermentation process, which I really love, and the garlickiness. I think just all mm. like really marries very very well. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. Amazing. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. So what you do now is just um, 
put it into smaller jars and share with your friends. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not sharing this. <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody I have it. <laughs> So, Anna from A Way to Live Well. A Way to Live Well on YouTube, on Instagram, um, website. Website is the same as well. Yeah, same as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, please check out her channel um, for more things all wellness. Mm -hmm. For more things all wellness. Can you say that? Yeah. <laughs> all right. You get what I mean. <laughs> Anna talks a lot about massage, self-massage, and uh, yoga. You know, yoga, the beauty of, of yin yoga, of slowing down, and a lot of other things. Just go to her channel and check it out for yeah. yourself. You'll see she does some amazing stuff. I'd love to see you there. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 It'd be really funny if we were just like... If we went from one minute being like really close friends and then being like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> In real life. <laughs>